Hello, today, quickly, let's talk about ESG ratings, environmental, social, and governance ratings. Before we get there, let me just say, I do have a number of other videos out there regarding sustainable investing. You can check out those videos if you follow these links right here. So there are companies out there that provide ratings to people that want to pay for that data. The six big players in that industry are these guys right here. This is a big industry. This data costs lots of money. It's in high demand. You can check these companies out if you want. The question is, if they're all measuring the same thing, how well do they agree on the rating for a particular company? It turns out if we look at the correlations, they don't agree at all. Now, it's, it's not horrible here, but if you look kind of on average, the average correlation is less than 50%, pretty, pretty bad. Kind of the max correlation isn't horrible at 0.77 but it's not great, raises the question, what is it they're measuring? If they're measuring the same thing, why don't they agree? We can dive into various sectors. We can see that you know, telecommunications is pretty low on average in a lot of measures. We can also see that the governance pillar, they don't agree at all. We can zoom in here on some of the extremes. Again, telecom really low, but even healthcare, kind of, the, kind of a nice one is only at 55%. Again, it doesn't look that good. Let's now look at particular companies. Here's the good list, right? So these are the companies where they actually do agree pretty well. There's still some dispersion there, but it's not that bad. On the flip side of it, these are the companies where they don't agree at all. These are normalized ratings and the ratings differ by you know two plus standard deviations. They're measuring the same thing, completely different results. You have a company that looks great by one rating agency and looks terrible by another. How do you interpret that information? Now, let's compare this to credit rating agencies. Okay, if we look at these charts here, positive you need to, what we can see is that on the ESG side, it's all over the place. But when it comes to credit ratings, they all pretty much agree. So the question here is, What's going on? Why are there such a discrepancy on the ESG side, but not on the credit side? And in fact, that's what we're going to talk about in a subsequent video. There's some research out there that dives into this and has a pretty good explanation for why these rating agencies disagree so much. Thank you so much for listening. Happy trading out there. I'm Brian Kozlowski. I hope you enjoyed that.